Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hi, UCHU. This is Angela Jordan Perry with United Christian Homeschoolers Unlimited coming to you with another question South Carolina Homeschoolers asks. So uh, this is a great question today, and I will jump into it in, in just a moment. Uh, but first, I want to let you know who I am. I am the owner, director, administrator of this Option 3 Accountability Association. And what an association is, or Option 3, in the state of South Carolina, in order to homeschool, you have to join one of the three options to be qualified to be homeschooling legally, okay? You have Option 1, Option 2, Option 3, which is your most uh, more freedom, I guess you can say. Uh, a lot more uh, freedoms towards the home educator to school as they desire with some regulations that they have to follow. So anyway, I'm a homeschooling mom of eight children, uh, married to my husband now 26 years. We have graduated three children. I've been homeschooling for 18 years. And I come on a lot of journeys. And uh, we make our home in the northern west part of the state, which is Campobello, South Carolina. Okay, so let's dive into this question. I have had this happen so many times, it's not funny, um, but a family member who were a member of my association totally forget to register in the school for the new school year. And I usually send out reminders to each and every parent to let them know, hey, or send a text. It's almost time to register. Don't forget to register. Registration is opening or something like that. And it still happens because we are in the midst of homeschooling. We're in the midst of living life. Things happen. And so if you have been that parent who totally have forgotten to register and then you realize, hey, what do I do? I've already been homeschooling for more than half the school year, but I forgot to register. What do I do? So there's two things. One Legally, I mean, you can register any time with my association throughout the year. My year goes from August the 1st. Your membership will go from August the 1st until July 31st. No matter when you register in the year, it expires July 31st, and all your paperwork and your cards will say the same thing, July 31st, okay? So number one, register as soon as you forget. I mean, you remember, go ahead and get registered. Number two... Legally, when it's time to count numbers, because under the law, you have to have 180 days in attendance. So legally, you can only start from when your paperwork identifies when you were legally homeschooling under option one. So if that was in March, for example, but you've already started since August, okay, but March is when you registered. Legally, you are supposed to start counting when you were legal, okay, and go forward from March up until 180 days, okay, and that's just it, and so all those days prior should not really count because you were not legally homeschooling under the law. Now, I tell my families, if the situation happens where you have totally forgot to get signed up, you need to put some documentation in your, in your paperwork indicating what has happened but you have registered but you totally have forgot you have been with this association and I can vouch that you have been with me the year prior and you just have forgotten and started late you need to put that in there and go ahead and keep your count of your 180 days if you're not a member with me say for example you were not a member with me in 2016 2017 you were not a member and then 2017 2018 comes and you're like oh I totally forgot to register with someone then I cannot vouch for you to say they were with me the year prior homeschooling legally forgot to register and now they're with me so you can kinda of understand that so you can't be a home a, a homeschooler new to my association and then say I totally forgot to register with you I'm gonna say I can't help you 
You can sign up, but your 180 days start the day you legally started homeschooling, okay? So that's the gist of it. Hope that makes sense. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and make them down below. I will always respond back to you, especially if I see them. Be sure to go to my YouTube channel at Angela Jordan Perry dash UCHU, where I put a lot of all this content there. Uh, the website is www.uchunlimited.com. And then, of course, on the Facebook page of United Christian Homeschoolers Unlimited. If you are a member of UCHU and you are not a part of the private group who are for those who are members, be sure to go and ask them to join. That's available to you so that you can ask questions and connect with other homeschoolers, okay? All right, take care, and it's been great. Again, my uh, name is Angela Jordan Perry, and my purpose-driven life in part is to make a positive impact on thousands of homeschoolers worldwide. And I start that right here in South Carolina as I serve my families here in this state, all over the state. So thank you for letting me, allow me to serve you and yours. You all have a wonderful day. Enjoy your weekend and God bless you all. Bye-bye.